We're back. We're back. back. We're back. Look at us. We're it, back we're and we have many, many new things for this show. Women with them. We don't have that many. Mm, no, we do. Well, Three brand new haircuts. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's true. Have we not seen these? Well, no, we've seen your two, but mine's now joined you. We are you looking your haircut? good. Quite a lot, James. I thought your head had grown. Well, yeah. And your ears had dropped. No, but of course, apart from the haircuts, which are the big news, big news. we also have... <clears throat> well, some say he has no hair. You have a new stick. It's nice. Have you seen it? Well, the stick. stick yeah. I have. It, came, it got out of the silver car this morning, I can't tell what it was, and it walked off. It's much smaller than Sack's stick. When it walks, is it completely in contact with the ground? I have to say, I was fascinated by it. It's, it appeared to have no buttocks. I don't know if it's worth looking at that, but in the suit, it appeared to just... Sans boutoc. It was sans boutoc. Okay. Have you seen it? You haven't no. seen it. And people are going to say to us, oh, come on, you know who it is. We can all three of us put you? our hand on our so hearts. I have no idea. Swear I don't want on to know. our children's, no. well, not him, but swear on his cat's life and our children's the life. The cat's dead, genuinely. No, his cat is dead. The cat's dead. Oh! Hold on a minute, this no, is, no, this no. is an exclusive. It is. Oh, when it did it, I apologise, when did it you, die? You must, otherwise I'll kill well, you. Well, I didn't know that your cat was well, dead. Well, you do now. Why is he died? Did it die? Why it died? Because it got hit by a car. What sort of car? Well, he didn't tell me. The car is is it, Jeremy? I don't think it was hit by a car, it could have been a motorbike. It got well, killed! It could have been, but he's dead. He's sad. He's sad. My it? dog dead, died last year, I don't make a fuss. You did? Well, I just said my dog's dead. Yeah, I've got so many, one of my dead. dogs could die and I wouldn't notice for weeks. Even the smell anyway, you can't swear on his cat's life, because that would be That's stupid. Sad. It's sad. You'd swear on his motorcycle or something. We do not know the name of the new Stig. <laughs> Maybe it's... I'm told it's illiterate, so it can't possibly write a book. It's not able to even. Can we just say, stop the last one? No, edit. Can we just say what a joy it is to get? But isn't it lovely to start a new series? And is it? And what I like to think first day back at just school. Just we fired up our cars and brought a bit of global warming back to the country. So first it day back at day. first day back at school. I've had my dinner money stolen already, and we're back to it business as usual. Sleek. We're faster like this aerodynamically. This is complete rubbish. Yeah, garbage. You're nodding in agreement, producer. It's just rubbish. And what else have we got in the show, then? We've got um, Richard Hammond is going to see if he can find out if a Porsche 911 Turbo is faster than the car which spawned it, Volkswagen Beetle. I'm going to see if a Skoda Yeti, superb car, is faster than a Ferrari 308 GTS. And James is going to see if his face can survive the V8 aerial atom. Although by the time you see this, you will have seen all that, so you'll so know the answer. just telling you what you've already know, seen. Or oh, not afternoon. bothered watching. You're not going to put this on this afternoon, are you? There you are, you see. What have already seen? You're going to have some lunch now? Yeah, can we go and have a sandwich? <laughs> it's nice to me. It is. Sorry about your I'm not, I'm you know I am sorry. I'm when did it sorry. die? It's just a very good-looking car, that Volvo, which was in the show. It was. I mean, it doesn't really exist because no. you can't buy one for real. No, or you can't buy the Subaru. No, or any, any of the cars you've told us about this week. Yes, I know. I Thanks did waste everybody's time. <laughs> but I suppose really the biggest news of the show 
uh, was James's death. Oh god, yeah, James is dead. Yeah, you've you forgotten. Got, yeah, and that's oh, it's the, the, the paperwork. It's you should have seen it. It's the inconvenience it of it more than anything. I mean, obviously we were a bit sad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's an administrative thing. There's a lot of paperwork, god. a lot of forms. You know, people going, could anything have been done to save him? What if he'd been wearing a high visibility jacket? How can you save him? He's dead. He's dead. Um, yeah. So James. if you do, uh, if you fancy a job on Top Gear, write to us. It's, I'm an unbelievably dreary pedant. Um, Top Gear, London. Oh, just Is that you? Uh, right, right, yeah, sorry about that. This yeah. is I just let everything go relax. Right at, um, I'm quite sorry to hear James is dead, but can I have his job, please? Care of. Yes, I think, just mark your envelope, as I've said. So good, uh, and that really is it. I hope you enjoyed the show. I think um, after the Australian one, it wasn't particularly brilliant. The Australian one. He's not that dead, obviously he has got a bit better since dying. No, no, he is. <clears throat> Nothing to see there. He's about to be dead under that focus. Look, he's going to blunder under it on his telephone. No, um, what was I saying? I can't remember you rambling on. I spent my life standing next to you whilst you ramble on. No, no, I was saying... There was well, yeah, your noise was coming out of the front of where your face no, but it was, was really good. interesting Oh, and I important. don't doubt that. Riveting, wait, wait, sure. wait, wait. You're oh, no, I was now. saying... I didn't think that the films we've made in the previous two programmes this year, the one in Australia and the one in wherever we were the first program. I oh South Africa. I didn't think that was they were very good, but I thought the Albanian one was us back on uh, tour. It's again. one of my favourites we've ever done, actually. Yeah. Apart from the bit where James died. Yeah, I liked the Albanian one while I was still alive. Oh voice <laughs> from beyond! <laughs> this oh, is man, that's, Doris Stokes. That's really weird. Uh, and um, I like the Albania one, and then next week we've got this re remarkable one where we test the same car three versions of the same car against one another. And um, that's going to be fantastic because really it means that uh, Richard spends all of his time driving around in a sea of somebody else's feces. Yeah, long story as to how we get there, but I do. It wasn't nice. And pubic hair. Yeah. So that'll be uh, schoolboy humour, and we look forward to seeing you then. Thank you very much for watching. Now go to sleep. Sorry about James. Yeah, sorry about James being killed. I'm going to go and commiserate his death with somebody. All right, Stig, since you're not saying anything, uh, we are down here with Jonathan Ross today at the track. It's another wet and windy Wednesday, um, but it's looking like uh, he's going around pretty well. He's sort of getting quicker and quicker. Let's see how he does. Oh, look, here he comes now. Here he comes now. great fun but you know it's uh it's it's kind of like odd because i still think when you're going fast you should have tracks or something you know and then it would keep you in the right course as it is there's too much room for human error frankly so i don't think it's ever going to catch on Good car. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good car, isn't it? What do you drive normally? Uh, well, we've got a second-hand Previa that's about 15 years old. Okay. And the children won't let us sell that because they're fond of all the vomit stains and <laughs> marks and bits where people have weed and thrown up and stuff and where mum's backed into walls, you know, and I smashed the mirror. So they quite like that. It's a kind of battle bus. Then I drive a Morgan and I've got a Ford Thunderbird. And my wife's got an XK8 Jag, which I had converted into a hearse for. <laughs> yes, you do. And that's a fast car. That's, the, that's probably the fastest thing. The Morgan's fast, like it's very light. Mm. But you wouldn't want to take a car like that around here. It'd be a shame. You know? <laughs> that's a car for with the wind in your air and a yeah. scarf. What type of Morgan? Uh, Roadster. Oh, nice. Two-seater. It's very nice. Yeah, cool. Shall I go? You're nearly ready. They're moving there. So you're preferring this to the Suzuki Liana? I didn't, I, the other car wasn't as nice as this, I don't think. I can't really remember it. How long ago was it? It, must be like it was nine, nine years, 2002. Yeah, a long time ago. So this is preferable. This is preferable. But still, I mean, it's quite, you know, it's fairly spacious. Get a couple of kids in the back. That's when you see whether you can drive or not. That's what you want to do. You want to do it with some kids in the back, or Hammond. Hammond in the back, and another small person. And just see how that feels flying around. Gives you a bit of ballast, and they can be screaming about, I'll be there yet. All right, go away, I've got to race. <laughs> Three, two. 
maybe for first edition. This one's for the stick. The new stick, not the <laughs> 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 gentlemen <laughs> I still kept getting the wrong gear in but at the end I was in like fourth instead of second cool, yeah, cool. going to go to the port of cabin over there oh the smell of burning rubber that's good I got you up there there's, no, there's no elegant way <laughs> oh that hurts your ears oh. Look at that, Clarkson would kill for hair like this. <laughs> <laughs> so he probably will one day. Last time you came down to Top Gear, it was nine years ago, and you were wearing purple leather driving gloves yes. and apparently no pants. Yes, I'm wearing pants today, but no gloves. I'm reversing the trend. As you get older, I find that pants are actually more necessary than gloves, as I'm sure Jeremy will tell you. Actually, he wears a reinforced <laughs> pant, a kind of a rubber line thing. Used to be for fun, now it's a necessity. <laughs> and you enjoy the day? It's great fun. Look though, pan up, look at this guy. I know that's no good for your lens, boom. You're gonna get water on it. Grey raining, why do I always get the rain? It's like I come here in good faith, I come here honestly and open and ready for the challenge. Somehow they always choose the worst days for me because I'm sort of fishtailing out. But I think I did, look, I'm confident I did better than my last time here. I wouldn't think I placed too high on the ball, but I think I won't be I won't be leaving in disgrace. Is there anyone you want to beat? I want to beat everyone, obviously. Especially Tom Cruise. Who doesn't want to be Tom Cruise? Who doesn't want to be Tom Cruise? Biggest movie star in the world. Good looking guy, everything going for him. Who was but I know I won't be Tom Cruise because I believe he did most of the track on two and at times even one wheel. Yeah. So I won't be beating Tom. I don't think I'll beat Bishop either. But then I like to think I won at life against Bishop already, because I haven't got those ridiculous teeth. <laughs> Which makes him look like a walrus or a gnu. Probably the first time a GNU has been mentioned on Top Gear, certainly this year. We do have the disaster today that the producer's lucky pants have entirely collapsed. Yes, they have. If you'd like to show us, producer. Yeah. The pants have been in existence for uh, 20 years. We used to use them when we did solo documentaries. Had the they used to keep planes up in the air. They are full of good luck. And now they're used to make each show a global success. However, they have got a bit worn. Now, that's what's holding up that side. They did. That's what's holding up the front. How do you know? His whole body's like that, isn't it? And that's what's holding up this side. It's a bit like Stallone in Cliffhanger when the rope's going. <laughs> However, the big problem which emerged this week on show 132 is there's nothing at the back now. Well, some people have said I should stitch them to another pair of pants, but that's taking the mick out of their superpowers. Well, is it? It's a bit like restoring a building where you preserve the facade, but then the inside is full of air-conditioned modernity. Maybe you can get some modern and pants sell inside pants. the facade of your old pants. But didn't he once buy you some pants? I'm afraid he did. And were they not, if I recall, <laughs> brown with cream piping? They were. Yes. And are you not in the news of the world this very weekend for your lack of pants? Yes, but they're not, they're not one of the two pairs of pants <coughs> I now have. They you only have two pairs of pants? Yeah, don't spoil this world exclusive that's coming out in the news of the world. <laughs> the well, problem I, should, I should explain about the pants, this is where well. Richard I, Hammond was in hospital and I had no pants because I'd driven straight up there and so had Will, and he said I'm off to buy some pants for the first time since 1976 and I said could you get me a pair while you're there? And, and humorously, he came back with a pair of brown ones with cream piping white fronts, and I love them. Well, we'd seen that that's what you'd like best of all. I just have to say as well, the other issue as I well is, is that James May is in the news of the world pretty much every weekend now, because Jane, James likes to go to award ceremonies where he has too much of the free drink and then doesn't uh, realise <clears> that when a girl comes over with a notepad and a pen that she might actually be a journalist. She didn't have a notepad and a pen, and anyway, I, I don't care. If they want to tell the world that I've only got two pairs of pants and the world's interested, well, bully for them. 
So the show. Um, yes, serious show this week. Very, it genuinely is. No, I wasn't joking. A serious idea, um, because, as we know, whenever it snows in Britain, every school closes, every road shuts. Um, We're locked then in ice chaos. We are, as the Daily Mail always puts it, locked in ice chaos. And so we thought, I wonder if there's a way you could cheaply clear the roads, because that's the big problem: is councils can't very well. Really? Councils can't very well buy a whole fleet of snow ploughs when we're being told to tighten our belts. And it only snows once every five years, and then it's only about that much. Well, no, it's twice it? in the last 12 months. It's, we've had what you'd call a big dump, but actually at international standards is a light sprinkling. A flurry. Uh, but honestly, if you're watching this abroad, you would not believe Britain's inability to cope as soon as the weather is anything other than 57 degrees and a little bit cloudy. Um, we really can't, whether it's too hot, too cold, too wet, everything always stops. And so we have had a, a go this week at building a snow plough that is very cheap and which is effective. And we've tested it. And some of the tests we did went quite badly wrong. But I think you're in for a surprise at the end. I think that's fair. 